Okay, I want to talk just a little bit about uh, some specialized tools that would be good to have to do the conversion. Uh, the first item I want to talk about is a good uh, wire cutter. Uh, we're going to use 2 aught o or 2 aught uh, cable for the battery cables, and it's a pretty thick uh, multi-stranded cable bunch and relatively difficult to cut if you don't have the right tool. This cable cutter, uh, obviously, it's going to take two hands, but makes a nice clean cut and is probably a pretty good worthwhile investment so uh, we recommend having a good cable cutter next item is a cable stripper that's a pretty simple tool has a razor uh, head on it that's adjustable for different depth and what this is going to do is cut the insulation back and basically you set the knife to the proper height and rotate it around the jacket and it's going to remove the cable jacket or the insulation jacket. And the reason you want to use one of these, when it's set properly, it won't cut the cables. If you try and do this with a razor or with an exacto knife or with a utility knife, inevitably you're going to go ahead and start to cut some of the cable strands. And any cable strands we lose is going to cut the capacity. So we definitely recommend a, a cable stripper. The other item I wanted to talk about is the crimper. Now there are a variety of different uh, cheaper crimper alternatives out there. There is a hammer style crimper that you can use for some $30, but uh, by the time you do a complete conversion and do the 20 or 30 or more cable crimps uh, to put the battery cables together, this tool is going to pay for itself and it's going to make the best possible crimps. So this is an adjustable unit, has a variety of uh, different dies that you can rotate into position for different cable sizes. The two aught cable size is actually uh, flagged with an orange slice, uh, stripe, so it's on the orange setting. Uh, the other thing that comes into play with a cable crimper, there are a few cable connections that are going to need to be made on the vehicle. Uh, a floor type hammer crimper or a vice crimper, uh, you just can't get into the vehicle in position. Uh, this crimper you can get into the motor compartment if you need to and make a crimp and uh, definitely is worth the investment. One last thing I wanted to talk about is the tools. Um, we are working with high voltages here so uh, recommend wearing gloves when we're working with battery cables and connections. Uh, I tape my tools so that only the exposed working end of the wrench is exposed and I tape the rest of the tool. You want to be careful with tools. You don't want to keep them in your pockets or lay them around. Uh, when you're working on batteries, just use the tools that you're using. Make sure you put everything else away. What you don't want is a wrench or a tool to fall across the battery connection and short it. So uh, you can use a dip system to isolate or insulate the wrenches. You can wrap them with tape, uh, whatever works, but make sure you pay some attention to your tools. Open hood. We can see there's all kinds of wires and connections here, so one of the most important things we need to do is to label those connections before they're disconnected. Even something as simple as the, as the battery with a positive and negative connection, we want to make sure we label those. And the simplest way is just to use a set of uh, address labels, adhesive labels, and right on there with a magic marker of what it is we're working with. And before we make that disconnection, just go ahead and label up each one. It'll save a ton of time later when you're trying to identify each connection, and it'll make life a lot simpler. So, so even if you don't think you're going to need it later, and you're not sure what it is, label it anyway. Find out what it is. <laughs> when in doubt, label. Okay.